Good morning. It's Monday, April 4th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, The Holy Place, and our scripture is from Exodus chapter 40. Then the Lord said to Moses, Set up the tabernacle on the first day of the year. Place the Ark of the Covenant inside, and install the inner curtain to enclose the Ark within the Most Holy Place. Then bring in the table, and arrange the utensils on it, and bring in the lampstand, and set up the lamps. Place the gold incense altar in front of the Ark of the Covenant, and hang the curtain at the entrance of the tabernacle. Place the altar of burnt offering in front of the tabernacle entrance. Set the wash basin between the tabernacle and the altar and fill it with water. Then set up the courtyard around the outside of the tent and hang the curtain for the courtyard entrance. Take the anointing oil and anoint the tabernacle and all its furnishings to consecrate them and make them holy. Anoint the altar of burnt offering and its utensils to consecrate them. Then the altar will become absolutely holy. Next, anoint the wash basin and its stand to consecrate them. Present Aaron and his sons at the entrance of the tabernacle and wash them with water. Dress Aaron with the sacred garments and anoint him, consecrating him to serve me as priest. Then present his sons and dress them in their tunics. Anoint them as you did their father, so they may also serve me as priests." With their anointing, Aaron's descendants are set apart for the priesthood forever, from generation to generation. And then Paul's message to the Hebrews in chapter 10. And so, dear brothers and sisters, we can boldly enter heaven's most holy place because of the blood of Jesus. By his death, Jesus opened a new and life-giving way through the curtain into the most holy place. And since we have a great high priest who rules over God's house, let us go right into the presence of God with sincere hearts, fully trusting Him. For our guilty consciences have been sprinkled with Christ's blood to make us clean, and our bodies have been washed with pure water. Let us hold tightly without wavering to the hope we affirm, for God can be trusted to keep His promise. Let us think of ways to motivate one another to acts of love and good works, and let us not neglect our meeting together as some people do, but encourage one another, especially now that the day of his return is drawing near. God gave detailed sacred instructions to Moses as to how to set up the tabernacle's most holy place, the Holy of Holies, along with cleansing and consecrating rituals for the priests who would serve there. It would be a death sentence for anyone other than the consecrated high priest to enter beyond the curtain that separated this place of God's dwelling from all other places on earth. Paul wrote, that the blood of Christ changed all that. We may enter into God's presence boldly, that is, without fear of dying, but with the awareness that it's the only way of living. Entering the place of worship, in prayer, in church, on the golf course, driving on I-85, or changing the baby's diaper, isn't a place of worship at all. Those are only the places we happen to be in when we enter the place of worship, our being, our heart, soul, mind, and spirit joining in conversation with the Father. And that conversation requires both speaking and listening. There's way too much here to unpack in a five-minute devotional, but let's open the conversation on having this conversation. God, says Paul, is to be trusted with the promises he has made to have this conversation with each of us. He speaks through his word. He speaks sometimes in an event or a growing sense of urgency in our heart. And he listens. Best of all, he knows us deep down in every corner of our being, warts and all. And he still loves us. For you today, if the new tabernacle for God is located in your innermost place, 
it would be wise to dwell on how God instructed Moses to consecrate the first temporary tabernacle, carefully, wholly dedicating the place to God. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.